Hello and welcome to Inside Science. Let's start with the first issue that is your national population register that is NPR updating. Before going to that issue, we will have a clarification what is the difference between NPR, then NRIC, then your is uh, census and after that your Aadhaar and after last NRC. So what is this? This first understand this NPR. This NPR is National Population Register and it is a database of usual residents, residents of India and it is empowered by uh, this Citizenship Act 1955 and NRIC according to Section 14A of Section 14A of your um, Citizenship Act, the uh, central government is claiming there should be a register for this Indian citizens and this is your national register for Indian citizens after their census census is different from NPR because it is empowered by census act 1948 and after that Aadhaar Aadhaar is uh, mandated by unique identification authority for India and in case of NPR these are uh, empowered by your home ministry so uh, here is your NRC NRC is national register for citizens and it is applicable to Assam only and uh, Assam Accord uh, gives power to NRC. So uh, let's uh, discuss in details about National Population Register updating. It is by Union Home Ministry will be undertaken alongside Census 2021 but no biometric data will be collected during the updation exercise. The question is arising here can state governments like West Bengal and Kerala stop this? No. Because it is a, a, a registering citizens is a central act and no state government has the power to stop it. So uh, because uh, anyway state government has to provide their uh, resources of manpower to uh, undertake this activity and they can't deny. So it is conducted by the office of the registrar general of India under home ministry. Definition an NPR is the register containing details of persons usually residing in a village or rural area or town or ward or demarcated area. This usually residing is a term. It's like that some person is staying for six months and if he is wishing to stay, stay for more six months, then he can be considered as a resident of India. So citizen and resident, they are completely different. Citizen is complete citizen of India. According to census of India, a usual resident of the country is one who has been residing in a local area for at least the last six months or intends to stay in a particular location for the next six months. Legal provisions. What are those legal, legal provisions? It is notified under the citizenship, registration of citizens and issue of national identity card rules 2003. It is mandatory for every usual resident of India to register in the NPR. Current scenario. The data of the NPR was first collected in 2010 along with the house listing phase of census 2011. After that in 2015 also this has been taken place and this is the third time that 2021 will be the date. For census 2021 data will be collected on 21 points for updating the NPR. The updation of NPR will newly include a date and place of birth of parents in addition to the last place of residence, permanent account number, other Voter ID, card number, driving license number and mobile number etc. Next issue is Afghanistan first country to recognize Indian pharmacopoeia. The Islamic Republic of Afghanistan has formally recognized the Indian pharmacopoeia IP. It is an officially recognized book of standards as per Drugs and Cosmetics Act of 1940 and Rules 1945 thereunder. As per the second schedule of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act, this Islamic uh, pharma, uh, Indian pharma, pharmacopoeia is de designated as the official book of standards for drugs imported and or manufactured for sale, stock or exhibition for sale or distribution in India. This is your Afghanistan. The bordering countries are uh, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and Pakistan, uh, India, China also. So here is your Amudarya, the river. So uh, this, uh, this it specifies the standards of drugs manufactured and marketed in India in terms of their identity, purity and strength. The standards prescribed in the uh, IP are authoritative in nature and are enforced by the regulatory authorities for quality control of medicines in India. 
it is being published as an official document for improving quality of medicines by way of adding new and updating existing monographs by the indian pharmacopeia commission this indian pharmacopeia commission it's an autonomous institution under ministry of health and family welfare which is responsible to set standards of drugs in the country it is not under ministry of commerce remember it it promotes public and animal health in india by bringing out authoritative and officially accepted standards for quality of drugs including active pharmaceutical ingredients excipients and doses forms used by health work professionals patients and consumers it also develops ip referenced substances that act as fingerprints for identification of an article under test and its purity as prescribed in the ip monographs let's understand about the drugs and cosmetics act 1940 It's an act of parliament which regulates the import manufacturing and distribution of drugs in India. Its objective is to ensure that the drugs and cosmetics sold in India are safe, effective and fulfills the safety standards and parameters. Let's understand the new concept Society of Biotechnology of India. It's launched by former biotechnologists and technocrats of the Union Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology. It's a non-for-profit organization. It would promote transformation changes and approaches towards core research in modern biotechnology, so that the outcome could lead to more products and technologies for economic and social gain. The next is next thing is that in the same issue, it would complement India's efforts towards enhancing research funding of gap areas in infrastructure, human resources, regulatory frameworks. and converting research and development leads to into applications members of sbpi have experience in promoting biotechnology in areas such as bt cotton introduction of combine uh, recombinant therapeutic proteins and vaccines and fostering international collaborations recombinant therapeutic proteins these are produced from recombinant dna using biomolecular engineering which involves inserting the gene encoding of a protein into expression systems such as bacteria yeast or mammalian cell cultures therapeutic proteins are quite diverse in application treatments such as human insulin for diabetes erythropoietin for anemia and chronic renal failure vaccines for hepatitis b etc a question was asked in mens 20 2002 biotechnology boom may pave golden path for india discuss you can include this the next issue is apache helicopters for indian army guys in comment box mention the motto of indian army and who is the who is going to be the next indian army chief the deal for 6 apache helicopter 6 uh, 4e that is apache attack helicopters for the indian army is to be signed currently the army aviation corps operates only smaller chitaha and advanced light helicopters that weigh less than 5 tons these are in addition to 22 apaches being in, in, inducted by the indian air force which will replace the russian mi35 attack helicopters in service this uh, apache helicopter 64e apache attack helicopter better known as an attack helicopter are received from the boeing production facilities in mesa arizona usa remember this boeing and the spacex are those biggest uh, private players in uh, usa uh, for defense production and also space work these are all weather capable easily maintainable and have high agility and survivability against battle damage the capability of the ah64e apache attack helicopters includes it can carry out precision attacks at stand off range and operate in hostile airspace with threats from the ground it can transmit and receive battlefield picture through data uplinking and networking it can also shoot fire and forget anti tank guided missile air to air missile rockets while providing versatility to helicopter in network centric aerial warfare it also carries fire control radar which has 360 degree coverage and a nose mounted sensor suit for target acquisition and night vision systems then let's discuss about cheetah helicopters the cheetah helicopter is a high performance helicopter designed by hindustan aeronautics limited 
it is identical to lama sa 31b helicopter of uh, eurocopter of france it is a five seater multi role multi purpose high manu maneuverable helicopter it holds the world record in high altitude flying among all categories of helicopter this is the most important high altitude flying the next is advanced light helicopter that is als dhruv the indigenously designed it is important and developed advanced light helicopter is a twin engine multi role multi mission new generation helicopter in the 5.5 ton weight class the next issue is eu green deal european union green deal so in the background of the failure of the global community to reach any agreement in the recently concluded cop 25 european union has come with of a climate action plan known as european green deal there is lots of expectation also from boris johnson to have a great framework for climate change the european union is the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world after china and us uh, let's discuss about achieving climate neutrality what is it to become climate neutral by 2050 and to achieve this a law will be brought which will be binding on all member countries a law will turn the political commitment into legal obligation and will trigger the investment as well the european union is now the first major emitter to agree to the 2050 climate neutrality target laid down in the paris agreement then climate neutrality is achieved when a country's emissions are balanced by absorption and remove of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere it is also expressed as a state of the net zero emissions absorption can be increased by creating more carbon sinks like forests while removal involves technology like carbon capture and storage bhutan and suriname are the only carbon neutral countries in the world it is very very important from prelim point of view increasing 2030 emission reduction targets are to increase the reduction in its emissions to at least 50% and work towards 55% in the near future what are the sectoral plans it includes sectoral plans next issue is tripura gets its first acz so acz is special economic zone Recently the Ministry of Commerce and Industry has notified setting up Tripura's first ever special economic zone. It will be developed by Tripura Industrial Development Corporation Limited for the industries based on rubber, textile and apparel, bamboo and agri-food processing. The setting up of ACZ will open up new avenues to attract private investments because of its close proximity to the Chittagong port of Bangladesh. What is special economic zone? it they are geographically delineated enclaves in which regulations and practices related to business and trade differ from the rest of the country and therefore all the units there in enjoy special privileges this uh, special economic zone act was passed in 2005 let's discuss about the prelim question which was asked in 2013 an increase in the bank rate generally indicates that uh, options are market rate of interest rate is likely to fall no it's a wrong statement central bank is no longer making loans to commercial banks it's nothing to do with loans so it's a wrong statement central bank is following an easy money policy no central bank is following a tight money policy when bank rate is there there will be less money by the public so that in case of increasing bank rate repo rate there will be less money with public so that will lead to tight money policy if bank rate and repo rate would decrease then it will be lead to easy money policy so let's uh, discuss the next question which i asked in prelim 2013 in the context of indian economy open market operations refers to yesterday we have discussed it options are borrowing by scheduled banks from rbi wrong statement lending by commercial banks to industry and trade wrong statement and the next option is purchase and sale of government securities by the rbi it is right statement another question which is asked in prelims 2018 is like this what is terminal high altitude area defense that is third sometimes seen in news options are an israeli radar system wrong option india's indigenous anti missile program it's a wrong option an american anti missile system it is the right answer a defense collaboration between japan and south korea it is wrong option let's move to the last question which is asked in prelims 2015 
एच वन एन वन वायरस इज समाइम्स मेन्शन इन द न्यूज विथ रिफरेन्स टू हुई वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिजीज ऑप्शन सर एड्स बर्ड फ्लू डेंग्यू एंड स्वाइन फ्लू द राइट आंसर इज स्वाइन फ्लू सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे थैंक यू हैव ए नाइस डे